Hi, we're in work packet 6.1 on page 11. We're going to talk about angle of elevation, angle of depression. What is the angle of elevation? When looking up at an object, the angle of elevation is formed by an observer's line of sight and a horizontal line. So you're looking up at an object. This is your line of sight. This is the horizontal line. And this is your angle of elevation. It says, draw and label a diagram, then solve for the missing point, for the missing part, round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We'll do a couple of examples over here. Um, so this is where we're going to be using trigonometry in a more real sense. Okay, so we're going to be drawing out right triangles to help us solve real-life problems. So question number two says, the angle of elevation from a kicker's foot on the football field to the top of the goalpost is about is 17 degrees. If he's standing 131 feet from the base of the goalpost, how tall is the goalpost? So what we're doing is we're creating a right triangle that kind of fits this uh, real-life problem as best we can. So you can imagine someone standing over here. This is his foot, right? And he's about 131 feet from the goalpost, okay? And the angle, the angle, okay, over here, the angle from his foot to the top of the goalpost is 17 degrees. So I know that this angle over here is 17 degrees. So what I've done here is I've sketched out a right triangle. And I love right triangles because I know so many properties about right triangles, and I can use trigonometry when I create a right triangle to simulate kind of the real life, uh, the real, uh, a real life problem. Okay, so what am I looking for? It says, how tall is the goalpost? So that would be this side over here. I'm going to call that X. So here we have it, a trigonometric problem where I'm given an angle, and I'm looking for a missing side, so I can use the regular trigonometric functions. So if this is the angle of reference, what are these sides with respect to that angle? Well, this is opposite and this is adjacent. So I'm going to use the tangent function. So I have tangent of 17 degrees is opposite over adjacent. Okay. So I'll cross multiply. So I get uh, 131 times tangent of 17 equals x. So I'm going to break out my calculator over here. And let's turn it on. We're going to use the regular tangent functions over here, the regular tangent functions. So I get tangent of uh, 17, 17 times 131. And that would give me 40.05. Let's round it to 40.1. So x is approximately 40.1 feet. And x, and that's exactly what we needed, right? x is how tall those goalposts are. Let's try question number four together. It says, a dog is standing five feet from the base of a tree, looking up at a cat that has climbed 16 feet up the tree. Okay, What is the angle of elevation from the point um, the dog is standing on the ground to the cat? So here the question is, what is the angle of elevation? We're looking for the angle now. So I know that if I put together a right triangle, I'm going to use the inverse trigonometric functions. So what do I know? I know a dog is standing five feet from the base of a tree. So if I have a tree over here, this is my tree. This is my dog. Very elaborate. Okay. Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Looking up at a cat that's climbed 16 feet up the tree. So I know that the cat is 16 feet up. I don't know where the cat is. Maybe it's over here. That's my cat. And I know Good that morning, this is 16 Marshall feet up. So this cat is 16 feet up the tree, and I know the dog is 5 feet from the tree. So again, you can see how we can construct a right angle to represent a real-life scenario. Okay, so it's a right triangle. Okay, so this is my right triangle. What am I looking for? It says, what is the angle of elevation from the point the dog is standing? So the dog's standing over here looking up at the cat. So this is the angle of elevation. That's what I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for an angle. Okay, this is the angle of reference. So I know uh, I'm going to use inverse trigonometric functions, right? Looking for an angle. So if this is the angle of reference, what are these sides with respect to this angle? Well, this side is opposite the angle. This is adjacent to the angle. Opposite over adjacent gives me tangent. So I know that the tangent of x is 16 over 5. That's what I know. So x has to be the inverse tangent of 16 over 5. So let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator over here. So I get second inverse tangent of 16 divided by 5, and I get 72.6 degrees. So 
x is approximately 72.6 degrees. Remember, it's an angle, so it's a degree. So now let's go, go to the next page. And on the next page, we're going to look at the angle of depression. So it says, when looking down at an object, right, the angle of depression is formed by the observer's line of sight and a horizontal line, similar to the angle of elevation, right? But now we're looking down. We're looking down. So this is your line of sight. This is the horizontal line. This is your angle of depression. The angle of depression is congruent to the angle of elevation because they are alternate interior angles. Very important, right? This is the angle of elevation for the swimmer. If this is, these two lines are horizontal, okay, so they're parallel to each other. I have two parallel lines. I have a transversal. This angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. Therefore, they are congruent. They are the same. Okay, so draw and label a, di a diagram, then solve for the missing part, round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to the first one over here. And it says, um, a lifeguard is sitting on a platform, just like here, looking down at a swimmer in the water. If the lifeguard's line of sight is 8 feet above the ground, and the angle of depression to the swimmer is 18 degrees, how far away is the swimmer from the lifeguard? So we gotta, we got to draw that out. We can use this. A picture up here is a reference. So we have a lifeguard, and the lifeguard is 8 feet above the ground. Okay, so I can draw a line like this. This is going to be my 8 feet. I know the lifeguard is 8 feet above the ground. Okay, and looking down at a swimmer, so there's going to be an angle of depression here, right? So this is going to be the horizontal line. And so the angle of depression over here, right, looking down, at the swimmer at an angle of depression of 18 degrees. I know this is 18 degrees. Okay, so that's what I know over here. And my swimmer is over here. Okay, so the question is, what is this What is this distance? It says, how far away from the swimmer is the lifeguard? So I want to know what this distance is over here. Okay, once you've got your, your drawing set up, you're halfway there, right? Once you have your diagram set up, you're halfway there. So now we have to use the fact that this angle over here and this angle over here are congruent. That's the first thing we see, because this line here is parallel to this line over here. So this one is also 18 degrees. So now I have this angle within the triangle that I created over here. That can be my angle of reference. So with respect to this angle, what are these two sides? Well, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. So I can write down an equation, tangent of 18 is opposite over adjacent. Okay, now I'm going to solve for x, so I'm going to cross multiply, so I get x times tangent of 18 equals 8, then I'll divide by tangent of 18, so I get x is 8 divided by tangent of 18. So I'm going to break my calculator out over here, so I get, uh, I do tangent of 8 divided by, and then I do tangent of 18, I get about 24.6 feet. So x is around 24.6 feet. And what is x? x was the distance to the swimmer. OK, so let's go to question number 7 over here. And question number 7 reads, building A is 480 feet tall. Building B is 654 feet tall. The angle of depression from the top of building B to the top of building A is 42 degrees. How far apart are the buildings? Huh. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do that? Okay, this is going to be my building A, right? And I know this one's smaller, shorter, let's say, not as tall. This is going to be my building B over here. Okay? So let's see. Building B is 480 feet tall. Okay, so I know this is 480 feet tall. I'm sorry, building A is 480 feet tall. So this is 480 feet, and building B is 654 feet tall. 654 feet tall. The angle of depression from the top of building B to the top of building A is 42 degrees. So if I'm looking down like this, and this is my fictitious horizontal line, then this is going to be 42 degrees. Okay? So how far apart are the buildings? What am I looking for? Let's. I'm looking for this distance which is just this line. So I'm looking for this line. And look, I've created another right triangle. This is awesome. So within that right triangle, if I can find an angle on another side, I can use trigonometry. Well, I know that this angle and this angle are congruent, so this is going to be 42. So this angle over here can be my angle of reference. So I know this angle. I'm looking for this side. I need another side. Do I know this distance? Don't know this distance. What about this distance? 
I, I wasn't given it directly, but I can figure it out. It's the difference in height between buildings A and B. So it's 654 minus 480, and that will be 174. So I know that this side is 174. So now I have a right triangle. That's what you're always trying to create when you're, when you're practicing trigonometry. You're creating right triangles. And I know for this angle of reference, this side is opposite, this side is adjacent. So again, I'm going to use the tangent function. So I have the tangent of 42 equals opposite over adjacent. I'm going to solve that for x, right? cross multiply, so I get tangent times 42. Tangent 42 times x equals 174. Divide both sides by tangent of 42, and I get x is 174 over the tangent of 42. So I'm going to pull out my calculator. And I get 174 divided by the tangent of 42, and that gives me 193.2. So it's approximately 193.2 feet. What is the distance between the two buildings? Okay, that's it for me. Thank you.